We had just passed a peaceful and productive winter at Scraggy House in beautiful Cape Cod, Massachusetts. Amongst all the work time, we also had some great visits from good friends. And we worked to leave behind a splash of color as a thank you to Jill and Ron for allowing us to spend our winter at Scraggy House. Just before it was time to move back into the bus, we hit the skies. Off to a very exciting place to see some very special people and for a very special event. It is 1 a.m. on a Tuesday, and we are in packing mode on our way to Honolulu. All right, let's go. Hey there. Hi. What you carrying? Yeah, I'm carrying a lot of stuff. <laughs> Mainly camera gear. I thought you had already finished packing. Well, I had perfectly, but at the <laughs> airport, they make you take out anything, they say anything electronic. And I was like, everything in my backpack is electronic. Like microphones, hard drives, battery packs, computer, battery chargers. So now I have to repack my bag. <laughs> it's really windy out today, so it's gonna be a really bumpy ride and I'm a little terrified. We both love traveling. That exhilaration of being on a plane and going somewhere new. Since starting the Aren't We There Yet project and living on the bus, air travel has been pretty sparse for us though. So this was a real treat, even though it was a bumpy ride. The landing was a little rough, but we arrived safe and sound. We made the first leg of the trip. We are near, about to catch the long haul flight. It was a long haul flight, all right. We flew from New York to Honolulu nonstop. So basically, we flew almost a quarter way around the planet. But it was made a little faster by editing videos in the air. All right, so we made it. Yay! We didn't get to sit together. We didn't get window seats, but we made it. We are in Honolulu oh. and it's warm. Yeah. We are here, we arrived, safe and sound. Now we're waiting on the bus. Please hold on, the bus is departing. We're looking for our room, we finally made it. This is 2412. There we go. All right. This is beautiful. Got a nice little studio apartment here. Wow, look at this view. We got an ocean oh view. Oh my gosh. What? <laughs> Look at the color of the water. So beautiful. Pizza, pizza, pizza. That's yours. Mmm. Mmm. So hungry. All right, let's eat. Good pizza, good meal. What else can you eat? So at this point, we should probably explain why we found ourselves in Honolulu on the stunning island of Oahu. This was quite a contrast to our winter on Cape Cod, and we had traveled nearly a quarter way across the world to be here. 
So what brought us here? Well, in short, love. I met my good friend Polina while I was in college in Tallahassee, Florida. We were both part of the International Student Organization. Polina was representing Bulgaria, and I, of course, was representing Nicaragua. We have stayed in touch many years after college. In fact, back in 2012, I made a trip to Bulgaria to visit Polina and her family. That was an amazing experience. Then, when I was in college in Chicago, she also came to visit me there. She hasn't been to Nicaragua yet, but I'm pretty sure that will happen someday soon. When Paulina and Jeffrey began dating, there was something special there. And sure enough, in 2019, they made it official. Over the next few years, they kept trying to have an official wedding celebration but the pandemic kept thwarting them at every turn. Unwilling to let the world get in the way, they eloped and then planned to celebrate their vows someplace special at some point in the future. So we were there in Honolulu on the island of Oahu to be part of our friend's celebration of vows and in a really beautiful way. Not only would we bear witness, we were also there to produce a video capturing the moment and celebrating their commitment to one another. What you doing? I am testing audio. You're doing what? So it's very windy out here, which is really good. Actually, this will be really interesting to compare. I'm recording this right now. So um, this is called a dead cat, and it's supposed to help minimize the wind. So where we're going to be filming their bows is going to be on a cliff with a lot of wind. And so I want to make sure that audio is clean. So I'm testing the gear that I have with this wind and just trying to make sure that on the day of, everything goes without a hitch. Basically what I'm doing is I'm just noting where the camera is at, or where the, the levels are at. And waiting for a good gust of wind, another gust of wind to hit it. It was really good before. Now it's kind of cold. It's time to go and do some testing, because this is another kind of videos that we used to do. And I just realized that I forgot something very, very important, which is the gimbal for my DSLR camera that doesn't have in-camera stabilization, so I need a gimbal for it. Good thing is that we were thinking of shooting some B-rolls with the iPhone 13 Pro, which also has great 4, uh, 4K um, capabilities and stabilization. So we're gonna have to do with that Anyway, it's time to unpack all of this so I can charge some batteries and go out and start shooting some tests. Batteries for the drone, needs to be charged. I think that's all I need for now. staying in the neighborhood of Waikiki Beach, and so we went out to explore and start playing with the settings on our gear before doing the official tests with Jeff and Polina. After our first round of testing, we joined up with Jeffrey and Polina to go scope out the location where they would exchange their vows. Our mission was to get all our settings correct so that on the day of, everything would run without a hitch. 
This is Makapu Beach. It is a stunning spot and a perfect place for an exchange of vows. The location does present its challenges. The best time to film here is early in the morning, when the light is still soft and even. That means you only have a little window of time to capture all your footage. That's why I wanted to make sure I have my settings and the game plan ready, so that on the day off, we didn't miss that light. And on the audio side of things, well, take a listen. As you can hear, the wind in this location is fierce, which meant I really had to bring my audio game to make sure we could capture a clean recording of their vows. As Jose Luis mentioned, this type of video is outside of our normal scope, and we really didn't want to let them down, so we spent a lot of time rehearsing and testing. These two were so patient with us, and honestly, look how sweet they are. With all that testing behind us, now we go hang out and explore Oahu together. Here we are, heading up to Lanikai Pillbox Trail. Just wait until you see the views from up there. This hike is pretty challenging, as you can see, but the views up there are totally worth the effort. Come on, Polly. You can do it. Experiences like this with friends are precious. A couple months earlier, we were just digging into winter mode in Cape Cod, and we never imagined that we would be here. Then, in came a message from Paulina, proposing the idea. Now here we were, building memories with our friends, soaking up the world. Life can be so random and awesome sometimes. Yeah, I think you can go both both ways. Yeah. See so right. before she's coming down. See this first two. Let me take it. Let's get going, I guess. Go in there, Luigi. You might be curious why this is called the Pillbox Hike. Well, want to nerd out about history just a little bit here? The structures that you'll see at the top of this hike, commonly called the Pillboxes, are actually military structures from the 1940s. They were built not for weaponry, but rather to house instruments for observation. From these strategically placed stations, high-powered equipment could triangulate and pinpoint the exact location of vessels out at sea. The views from out there were just amazing, as you can see. This video really doesn't do it justice. With views like this, of course I have to do some photography from up here. There is a saying in Spanish, todo lo que sube, tiene que bajar, which is basically the same in English. What goes up, must come down. So down we went.
And of course, when in Hawaii after a strenuous hike, you have to take your cool down on the beach. Then we headed back to the city to get some good rest because we had a very early morning on the horizon. Tomorrow was the big day. That morning we all got up really early, but none of us earlier than Paulina. Getting hair and makeup ready is no joke. That's the mic for Polina's audio. Wiring up Jeffrey was a piece of cake, but a wedding dress is a different story. It was really fun though. I felt like I was fitting James Bond with wire. <laughs> Thank you so much. Yeah, of course. And then we were off to Makapu for the big event. You excited, Polina? Yes. You know what that means? <laughs> Hooray! After filming the exchange of vows, we all headed back to Honolulu. Jeffrey and Paulina were going to hop over to another Hawaiian island to spend a week in another piece of paradise. And us? Well, you know us. We're not one to visit a beautiful part of the world and then split. We decided to spend an extra few days in Oahu to explore the island. So we made it back to the city and made plans to meet up later to spend one more evening together before parting ways. It was such an honor for us to be a part of this beautiful page in Paulina and Jeffrey's story. It made us so happy to capture and immortalize that moment for them. And it was so beautiful to share another adventure with an old friend. This is the good stuff right here. This is the good stuff. The next day, we were at our Airbnb organizing footage and audio with this amazing view in the distance. When... It's a fire. Oh my God, it's a fire. This was really scary to witness. We'll start by saying everyone made it out alive. But still, it was really intense. And we'll share the whole story with you next time. Thank you.
Hey guys, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to give us a like, subscribe to our channel, send us a comment below, and for exclusive content and a behind the scenes view of the Art Be There Yet journey, join us on Patreon. See you over on Patreon.